hello, hello to all of my Capricorns. Happy new moon in Leo. And also, happy first day of Jupiter retrograde. Let's get into your reading, Capricorns. Let's get into your reading. I know by now, like I said, congratulations to all of you all who have landed on the bright side of this new moon in Leo. I love it, love it, love it. That means that you all are feeling more colorful, more fun-loving, more broad-minded, you know, more creative, more exuberant, right? So I want you all to stay focused and not worry about people who are energies that are trying to pull you back to the dark side, right? So if you made a decision to sever ties with anything, including fear, doubt, any kind of addictions, whether it's drug addictions, drinking addictions, sexual addiction, whatever kind of addiction, you decide to make a change and sever ties with it and bury it. Because remember, your earth sign, that dirt, you buried it, leave it right there and keep on moving forward. All right, let's get into your reading. Let's keep, let's get right into your reading. Let's get into your reading. And when planets go retrograde, that doesn't mean that planets move backwards or that they move at a slower pace, just so we're clear. It just means it gives that illusion that it is. And so this Jupiter is now retrograde. I love it, love it, love it. Jupiter is now retrograde. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Woo. Somebody is going to be wealthy. All right. So here we have the Eight of Swords. We also have the Knight of Swords, right? Eight of Swords and the Knight of Swords. We also have the Eight of Pentacles. We also have the Queen of Pentacles, money, money. We also have the Nine of Pentacles. And we also have the Six of Cups. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So like I was saying about Jupiter being retrograde, planets don't move backwards and they don't move at a slower pace. It just gives that illusion. Keep in mind that Jupiter is the, the largest planet. It's the planet of expansion, right? It governs expansion. So what areas of your life are you trying to expand, right? That means that you got to make room for by leaving some things behind. People, places, and some things, including emotions of fear, doubt, and all that other stuff needs to go. It has to go, right? It also is aligned with what brings us joy, what, what we're grateful for, that gratitude, what, what we honor in our lives, wisdom, tolerance, all those wonderful things. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. We have the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Somebody was in a relationship where they felt like the person was insensitive. Some of somebody had brash colleagues. Um, somebody felt like their feelings didn't really matter. That was self-sabotage to stay in this. It's the eight of swords. It was really blinding your vision, like blinding you. Just like, you know, I felt like I was just restricted. Money played a huge role in it because we see that's why we see so many money cards. So somebody stayed in a relationship, somehow money tied into it like together you know we can make a lot of money together we can be a power couple we can be this we can be that it could have been a friendship like a, a working a colleague relationship or whatever money plays some role because there's so much money in your cars see this was already predestined for you financial independence and all of these things but they somebody was riding on the strength of your energy that's where and i'm talking to you if you're on the cusp of aquarius and sagittarius as well not just Capricorn, but just also on the cusp as well. And so it was self-sabotage to stay in that. Some people around you were just extremely insensitive, mean-spirited, right? Um, um, just really brash. You know, some of you all have very brash colleagues, insensitive lovers. You know, people just act like they just were so insensitive, like they were just totally desensitized to your emotions. And so, like I said, again, you got as far away from that energy as possible, right? Kudos to you. Here we have the nine of pentacles, the eight of pentacles, nine of pentacles, and also the queen of pentacles, right? So let's, let's run it down. So this is letting me know that your creativity is, is heightened, right? Somebody got their vision back. We're talking about the number eight again. You took the blindfolds off and you saw creatively what you could do for yourself since you got as far away from that insens those insensitive energies, whether it's at work or whether it's in a romantic relationship or whatever. So now you got your vision back. I'm telling you, your ancestors, y'all, they were on the case. They were like, we're going to make sure our baby, you know, we were waiting for this one to be born. <laughs> they were waiting for you to pop out the portal. They were like, ta-da! There's Capricorn. That's our wildest dream right there. We're going to make sure we protect that baby. So that's what your ancestors were doing the entire time, right? So that full moon, okay, let, let's walk backwards for a second because I want to make sure you all understand how this works, Capricorn. So in the new moon, that's the time when you relax, right? You, you're resting. That's that seven days. Like today starts the new moon. If it's the 28th where you are, today starts the new moon. 
And so it lasts for that seven days where you're getting your rest. You're thinking about what do I want to manifest this cycle? Like we, we're in a new cycle. I want to manifest some things this time. I'm kind of getting the hang of this right now, right? So you're thinking about what seeds you want to plant. That's how this works. Then on the eighth day, <clears throat> for that for the eighth day, it starts the um, it starts the um, the the first quarter moon. So that's where you're kind of halfway there. That's when you look outside and it looks like a half of a moon in the sky. So that the, that those feelings, moon is attached to our feelings. Those feelings are starting to wax. They're starting to become stronger and stronger and stronger. Okay, I set the, I can see myself. I've been real, real careful keeping it close to the cuff. I haven't been telling a whole lot of people because I learned that I can't tell this person, that person, this person, this person because they have diarrhea of the mouth. They tell everything to everybody, right? So I know now I can't tell them things. I got sometimes you just gotta feel like you hopping around in a circle because you can't tell anybody but God, right? So again you're saying you know now I, i'm kind of getting the hang of this thing right this is my goal is to end up financially independent but i don't want to have to wait until i'm 99 years old in the rocking chair you know looking up at the sky saying oh boy okay you know i don't, I don't have too much longer to go right you're you're getting the hang of it sooner this is remember i told you all for my new uh people that's tuned in I, I've reminded Capricorn that you all are very, very wise. That's why when you all were younger, a lot of people told you to stay in a child's place because they already knew this child has been here before, right? So you're learning at a, at a younger age how to get to this right here, financial independence, right? But you're also keenly aware that when you're already an earth sign, Water represents sensitivity, it represents maternal energy, it represents your intuition and all of that. You all are tired of being around insensitive people that can't figure out, that can't pick up on the fact that sometimes your soil is dry in certain places. It's not, it's not, um, it's just dry in those places and those places could be in any area of your life, right? Anywhere in your universe where it's dry, where you're just kind of thirsty in certain areas and you don't need insensitive people around you. So again, somebody is, is starting to become aware of insensitive brash colleagues, you know, insensitive lovers, people who just don't have any regard for your emotions or your feelings whatsoever. The reason why some of you all stayed in some of those relationships, because you thought, you know, together we can make money together. But God is getting ready to show quickly, show somebody, okay, all I need you to do, you're, you're, in a, you're a cardinal sign, Capricorn, take the initiative. Go ahead and sever ties with that insensitive energy and follow your ancestors. They're going to lead you out of this. You're already safe. You don't have anything to worry about. But free yourself from this bondage so I can show you this right here. I can show you this, right? So when we talk about the queen of pentacles, this is a person who is very nurturing, someone who is very warm hearted, um, somebody who no matter what, no matter what people have come to you with, you got the resources, you will make it happen, right? That's why some of your friends, they know you're always reliable, no matter what's going on, no matter how tired you are, you pull a rabbit out of a hat and make it happen for them, right? And so that's what you've been putting out into the universe, Capricorn. And so that is what's coming back. And so somebody noticed that somebody they either work with or in a romantic relationship with, mm -mm, they were trying to make it all about them. They were trying to make it all about them, right? So here we have the Six of Cups energy. Six of Cups energy is really all about, um, you know, kind of sort of reconnecting with your past that could be like a grandparent or parent or somebody who may have transitioned on or reconnecting with something that's familiar to you maybe it's a childhood friend or connecting with something that makes you feel grounded the person could be in heaven you know or their spirit could have transitioned excuse me or they could they they could be still here in this realm but it's connecting with something that nurtures you something that nurtures you right you're getting away from all that insensitive energy. So like I said before, you know, the more and more you move towards energies that water your soil and help you grow. That's why it's important to keep, you know, people that you, your definition, that's why it's very important to have a clear definition of friend or your soul tribe. You know, your, your family by default is not your soul tribe. Your family by default are not your friends. They need to fall within your definition of friend or soul tribe, right? It has to be your, def not their definition, yours, right? 
So yeah, so this is nice. This is really, really nice. So I do see somebody getting as far away from a job, a, um, a, a like I said, colleague or something like some kind of a, you know, work stuff or, you know, romantic or friendship or whatever, as far as you possibly can. So kudos to you, Capricorn, for having the strength to take the initiative to get as far away from that energy as possible. Yeah. Mm, okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Yes. All right. So let's go. So you got some major arcana here. Here we have the Hierophant card, which is a tag. You got the Hierophant card. You got the Fool card, the Magician card, the Hangman, the Nine of Swords. Somebody got tired of crying. A lot of sleep with them tonight about stuff, tossing and turning, you know, just frustrated. Your ancestors were like, go ahead and get it out. Because when you get as far away from this energy and you run right into the arms of people who are nurturing you, like run into, you know, a familiar face or people that you know who love you, who is always team you, you'll never return to that kind of insensitive, selfish energy again. Here we have the moon card and the high priestess. All right, so let's, let's put all of this up here and unpack all of this. I love this for you because, again, like I said before, this hangman card is attached to Neptune. Neptune is a planet of your imagination. You were not imagining things about somebody. You were not imagining. This is not like your mom is playing tricks on you. Full moon energy exposes everything. Here we have the high priestess card, right, which is attached to the moon. The moon exposes their feelings, their moods, their emotions, their subconscious habits, their instincts. So you got a chance to see somebody during several cycles. You saw a pattern of behavior and you said, mm -mm, I don't like this. I don't like this. Not one bit. I don't like this. Here we have the moon card. Mm-hmm. We have the moon card, right? So we know that the moon is aligned to our feelings, our subconscious habits. This is also connected to, let me put this right here, because Neptune, this is Pisces card, even though the moon is Cancer's ruling planet, but I'm not going to confuse you with all of that. Anyway, like I said, this is the I believe sign. Somebody said, I believe, I believe my intuition. I believe what I'm feeling about this situation. Like I had a strong feeling about something and I'm just going to go with my beliefs. I don't, I don't need to see something. I don't need, I just need to get as far away from it as possible because it's eating up too much of my bandwidth. Messages are coming through to me. Here's the magician card, right? Message, clear messages are coming through to me, right? And so whatever I believe, that's all that matters. You don't need to show me proof. That's, you don't need to show me proof. I'm wise, right? I'm learning how to adapt to the situation of like, this is it. This is what it is. This is what it is. I need to get as far away from this. I've seen enough. I have seen enough. The magician card is the first card, the first card. So the, the number one. So it's like, if I have to go this by myself and go it alone, I'm good. I'm really, really good. Here we have five, the higher, the, the fifth card is the higher font, the higher font card. Somebody is still very respectful. Somebody is still very, um, like I said, you're a very classy sign. Um, somebody is still very respectful. Someone is, um, rooted and grounded somebody feels very stable your um your your um root chakra is not out of alignment somebody feels very stable where they are remember uh capricorn i always said to you all like no matter where you all move no matter where you move in life, always have something with you that reminds you of something that nurtures you. Maybe it's grandma, maybe it's granddaddy, maybe it's, you know, your parents, maybe it's a sibling or whatever. Something that always makes you feel grounded and rooted, right? No matter where you are on earth. And somebody is feeling really grounded and rooted. And so at first somebody felt foolish, but actually, like I said, your ancestors came through in the clutch. <laughs> Your ancestors came through. You hear me? Somebody said, oh, no. Get as far away from that energy as possible. You weren't the fool, okay? You weren't the one that was the fool. Let's just leave it right there. You weren't the one that's the fool, right? Somebody felt like, okay, I jumped into a situation too soon. I was impulsive. You know, I was blind to the truth. That's how somebody felt, but you don't feel like that today. That fool card is in upright. And by the way, the wind is blowing. I mean, that my air is blowing. So that's why, and this thing is a little loose. So I don't want anybody to get suspicious. Oh my God, the magician card is flipping around. And did you see the magician card? You know, anyway. So like I said before, the card I don't see here at all down here 
is fire energy, right? Fire energy is our solar plexus. The, the, the element of fire is connected to our um, solar plexus chakra, right? And so your solar plexus chakra is developed between the ages of 15 and 21. And the solar plexus chakra is at the center of your torso, right above your navel, where your ribs part, right? And so it's it's it relates to our confidence, our motivation, our personal power, our ego, our identity, right? And so, you know, let's say between the ages of 15 and 21, you know, someone just kept, um, somebody just kept, you felt powerless. Like somebody snatched your power away between 15 or 21. You know how, like I hate, I hate when parents say stuff like I brought you in this world and I'll take you out of this world. Somebody must not know about Marvin Gaye's father being in prison after he, you know, took his son out of here with that, that silliness. You know, that, that silly, that silly saying words have power. Right. And so, you know, when you're talking about teenagers, we're talking about like preteen and teenagers, you absolutely want to help them build that part of themselves where they know who they are, because they're going to have to one day go out here in this world. And so some people, you know, parents made them feel less than between those ages. So that's how when you got out here in the world, these relationships were. You felt, you know, like that's why somebody felt foolish. Somebody felt like, why can't I get this thing right? Always putting people above you, you know, um, somebody, like I said, didn't feel powerful. Somebody didn't feel confident. Somebody didn't have uh, um, clarity of thought, right? You know, somebody felt like, um, you know, they had low self-esteem. They were indecisive about things. Even the way that somebody walked, even with a, a collapsed chest posture, just showed you just didn't know who you were. Your identity was just all out of whack. So whoever's parents did that to them, set them on this, set them on this path of just kind of sort of like sinking, like, you know, like everybody else is above me. All they have to do is something above them. They have this act. They have connections to this person and that's better than me. Or this person is a year older than me or that they're older than me. It's everybody is above you. But so again, because somebody has been telling you since a young age, you need to stay in a child's place. Okay. You're an adult. You're no longer a child, right? So a lot of things have happened looking here, here, looking at your cars. And so now, like I said, your ancestors say, no, they were on the case. <laughs> your ancestors says, no, you need to get as far away from insensitive people as possible. Like I was watching this um, reality TV show one time and, um, and I know a lot of people, you know, different cultures say, well, you know, you know, I, I would never say anything back to my parents or whatever. At a certain age, your parents need to understand, Hey, listen, if you've read Ephesians chapter six and you talk about how parents are, I mean, children are supposed to honor their parents or their days on this planet will be longer or days on earth will be longer or whatever. You need to read the scripture below that because parents are not supposed to irritate their children. I couldn't imagine someone talking to their adult child as if they were a little tiny child. We are not other people's gods. We are not other people's gods. We are people. We are each other's guides. Not other people's gods. If you got to bully your child as a, and they're an adult, something is wrong with you. Here we have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. So, so a financial messenger is coming with some good news for somebody, right? That's what I'm trying to tell you is that somebody made the right decision to end something. Somebody was exposed. You had a feeling about something. This relationship was already on rocky, you know, rocky ground. I mean, rocky. It was already unstable. So you had to weigh the pros and cons of that thing, whether it was a job, a person, place, a thing, or whatever it was. Somebody decided, I'm going to let that thing fall by the wayside because I'm tired of these sleepless nights. I'm tired of this insensitive energy. I'm just tired. I'm tired of sabotaging myself and all of this. And if I was waiting on some money, I'm telling you, it's coming. The energy of money. That could look like you being being putting in the face of some very wealthy people, you are on their radar. So again, they're going to introduce you to other people, whatever your mute, whatever is music, whether it's art, whether it's something having to do with somebody. Cause again, somebody just needed to be around some people who nurtured your gifts. That's all that, that's all you needed. 
that's going to help you get your fire back, right? And so again, like I said before, I still don't see any fire cards down here. So somebody's solar plexus chakras are out of alignment. So let me help you with something. The gemstones that you can get for your solar plexus chakras are citrine, topaz, tiger's eye, yellow, um, I'm sorry, golden calcite. You can also go online and look at some of these too. There may be some more added to it. I'm only giving you just a little bit of a list. The essential oils that you can get are lemon essential oils, peppermint essential oils, ginger essential oils, black pepper, cardamom, myrrh. You've heard of frank, uh, frankincense and myrrh, but this is myrrh. Also pine oil, uh, pine essential oil, and sage essential oil. Yeah. And we have hydrate. Now, I told you somebody's, somebody's water was out of, I mean, I'm telling you, water represents nurturing energy. The first time the first time we experience water is in a womb, right? And so somebody was with somebody, whether it was in a job or in a romantic relationship or friendship, or it could have been all three, was just, just really cold and callous and insensitive to your emotions. And so you said, I'm, I'm tired of having sleepless nights. Some of you all were crying over it, but you won't be crying for long. <laughs> Trust me, you will not be crying for long because, like I said, and it's not that it's money is going to bring, and it's not that money is going to, money does attract new, you know, new crowd of people, new company or whatever. But I can tell you this, you won't be around insensitive people anymore. You just won't be. You will not be around insensitive people anymore because you learn how to hydrate yourself. Your number is 31. I am disciplined. You all really are, are the most disciplined sign on the planet. I mean, seriously, like. You're ruled by Saturn. You and, and uh, uh, you and Aquarius is one of Aquarius's ruling planets. It's the planet of discipline. Planet of discipline, the planet of hard work, the planet of getting it done, getting across that finish line. Your number is 31. Your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is stirring with creative ideas and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to life. Not only that, 31 reduces to 4. 4 is the number, this is the earth number. You're an earth sign. Someone is rooted and planted and grounded somewhere. Like I said before, whereas before you may have thought that person was going to help you get to the money, you're about to get some news about some money coming across your path. I don't care how little or how big the amount of money is, be in a posture of gratitude and stick with the people around you that keep you hydrated. Get as far away from insensitive, callous, cold, and you know, desensitized people to your emotions, selfish energy. Get as far away from that as possible. Yeah, because they do nothing for your creativity. They all they do is just drain your creativity and have you just distracted. And you don't want to be contaminated by their toxic water anyway. That's what I have for you, Capricorns, and I will see you all in a couple of days. Bye.